I am Prabhu Bain Marad, Assistant Professor, Department of CSC, BLDCT, Vijaypur. In this video, I am going to discuss about chi-square goodness of fit test for Poisson distribution. So this uh, following diagram shows the steps for development of useful model of the input data. So here we are going to apply the chi-square goodness of fit test at fourth step. So that is after choosing a particular distribution and associated parameter for goodness of fit test. So this table shows the parameter estimator for different distributions. So the Poisson distribution will be having the parameter estimator that is alpha cap equal to x bar. So let us consider a problem statement uh, for the Poisson distribution. So here the problem statement is records pertaining to the monthly number of job related injuries at an underground coal mine were being studied by federal agency. The values of past 100 months are as follows. So that is injuries per month and frequency of occurrence. So they have given per month the injuries and what is the frequency of the occurrence the information they have given. So here we have to apply a chi square test to hypothesis that the distribution is poison with alpha is equal to 0 0.05 that is what here level of significance. So to solve this problem first we have to understand what is the type of this data right. So according to the problem statement the data is grouped into what here frequency frequency uh, distribution in the in that manner the data is grouped here right and uh, one more thing we need to is the parameter estimator so according to problem statement in a problem statement they have specified the distribution is what here poison means we have to uh, choose a parameter which is related to what here poison distribution so therefore the estimator parameter estimator in poison distribution is denoted by alpha cap and it is calculated by what here by using the equation alpha cap cap equal to x bar so where x bar is sample mean of a given data right so then how to find a sample mean of the data yes see you can find a sample mean of the data before that we should understand uh, actually how the data is distributed see the data has been grouped into frequency distribution so according to uh, according to the information that if the data is grouped into frequency distribution then a sample mean is calculated by using this particular equation that is summation j to 1 to k fj into xj divided by n right so here fj indicates the frequency of eighth interval and xj is nothing but what here the value okay so uh, the injuries per month this value is having a frequency that is 35 and one is having a frequency 40 right so here fj indicates what here 35 40 13 6 4 1 1 and xj is nothing but what here injuries per month so after substituting all the values in this equation so we will get the value of x bar nothing but uh, sample mean that is 1.11 so according to the parameter estimator uh, in case of the poison distribution the alpha cap equal to what here x bar so therefore the alpha cap value is what here 11 1.11 that value we will get right so after finding the parameter estimator value the next step is we have to compute theoretical hypothesized probability right theoretical hypothesized probability the theoretical hypothesized probability for poison distribution is computed by using the pmf of poison distribution so the pmf of poison distribution is 
given by that is p of x equal to e raised to minus alpha alpha raised to x divided by x factorial so where x is 0 1 2 3 so on up to k so k is nothing but what here the number of the intervals and uh, for each class interval we will find out theoretical hypothesized probability that is p of 0 equal to e raised to minus 1.1 so minus 1.1 is nothing but what here that is 1.1 is uh, the alpha cap value that is parameter estimator for poison distribution so into 1.11 raised to 0 divided by 0 factorial so for first value we get theoretical hypothesized probability as 0 0.329 the theoretical hypothesized probability value for first value is that is second value equal to e raised to minus 1.11 into 1.11 raised to 1 divided by 1 factorial so we get a value 0 0.365 so we will find out the theoretical hypothesized probability for all values all x value right so the last value will be having theoretical hypothesized probability as a 0 0.008 Yes, after finding theoretical hypothesized probability, the next step is we have to find the expected value in each interval using the equation EI equal to N into PI, where N is sample size, that is uh, the 100. And PI is nothing but theoretical hypothesized probability of uh, that particular interval, right? So here what we do, we calculate the theoretic, uh, uh, we calculate the expected uh, value in, expected value in each, expected frequency in each value, we will obtain by substituting values in EI equal to uh, N into PI equation. So we can, we will obtain uh, 32.9, this is what here expected uh, frequency in first interval, 36. 0.5 is expected frequency in second interval and so on last interval is having expected frequency as 0.08 so once after finding all the expected frequencies for each class interval the next step is applying chi square uh, statistic uh, equation computation equation so it is given by chi square i equal to 0 uh, summation i equal to 0 to k oi minus ei bracket square divided by ei so where oi is observed frequency in ith class interval and ei is expected frequency in ith class interval divided by uh, ei is nothing but what here expected uh, frequency so after that we will what here we construct a table so xi is nothing but what here the values the intervals and uh, OI is nothing but observed frequencies and EI is nothing but expected frequencies. So once after writing all expected uh, frequencies in each class interval, the next step is we have to check whether each expected value is greater than phi u or what. So if it is greater than phi u, then we will uh, check the next expected uh, frequency. Uh, if it is less than 0, then we will combine the expected frequency with what here adjacent expected frequency. So here 32.9 is what here, this is greater than phi u, second is also greater than phi u, uh, third is also greater than phi u, this is also greater than phi u. So coming to last three values, these three values are less than phi u, so that we will combine all these expected frequencies and final value is how much here 2.48 so after this the corresponding oi has to be combined so after combining these three values the corresponding oi is what here 6 right so next what we do we find out oi minus ei oi minus ei uh, for each class interval next oi minus ei bracket square uh, will be computed after that oi minus ei bracket square divided by ei will be calculated 
So once after calculating all these values, we will add uh, each uh, interval uh, final value that is OI minus EI bracket square divided by EI value. So we get 8.54. So this is what here computed statistic value. Okay. So after uh, calculating this computed statistic value, we have to compare this value with the critical value. Right. So the critical value is given by the degree of the freedom x uh, chi square alpha comma k minus s minus 1. So where k is the number of intervals after grouping. Right. So after grouping how, how many intervals we get that is 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5. Right. So before combining we had 7 intervals after combining it became what here 5 intervals. So therefore k value is what here 5 and s is nothing but the number of the parameters. For uh, poison distribution only one parameter we are estimating that is alpha cap. So therefore s value is what here 1. So therefore k minus s minus 1 equal to this is uh, 3. Okay. So we will obtain the critical value from the table uh, for x uh, chi square 0 0.05,3. So how much we get? That is 7.81. So the 7.81 is compared with our calculated value. So that is 8.54. The 8.54 is greater than 7.81. So therefore, the null hypothesis is rejected. Right?